Welcome back to part two on our bonus video. This is Jesse Plutner playing War of the Monsters, and this time we are gonna play around with lightning. And last time we played with another robot, well, a Japanese robot, and this time we are gonna beat it up our salamander. Let's go to the power plant. Because. <coughs> It's only suiting because lightning, power plant, they go so well together. <clears throat> Let's get to it. Ooh! What foul abomination made that, made that ugly amphibian? Let's get to it. Zap! That's only a special one. Electric nuclear combo! <clears throat> And I'll show you <clears throat> his mega reach with his shock power. In laws of physics, that should have shocked him like overkill shocked him. Oh, <clears throat> Get you a few fire trucks for stealing my health. <clears throat> Get back here, coward. <clears throat> Let's play again, because I didn't get to show you this properly. Anyway, let's finish this guy off. <clears throat> kind of funny the way he uses his own eyeball to, uh, as a fist. <clears throat> Nowhere to run. Okay, moving on. Before I lose my eyes from seeing that. Because floating eyeballs... Kind of freaky. Not that I'm afraid of it or anything, but... Not very attractive. <clears throat> and now we are about to play with bugs, ladies and gentlemen. And you're about to find different ones from our previous adventure. You know the mantis and the ant. But you do not know... The, the hornet. And... The cyber wasp. Or mantis. <clears throat> And it just so happens, bugs are, in this world, are parasites, at least in juvenile form. And they're super intelligent to use items. Let's use a little... <clears throat> I 
teman-teman Wait, why am I guarding? Hey, let go. Sorry about that. My controller was going haywire. For a second there. And that was hit the secondary power. <clears throat> and you may can guess that bugs here aren't very good flyers. Like they were in good real life anyway. Clumsy flat, clumsy bumblebees. <clears throat> Sometimes I wonder whether or not they're gonna evolve into a better species that is more aerodynamic. You gotta obey laws of physics. Okay, moving on from bugs all the way to another robot, ladies and gentlemen. And we are going to be doing it in different colors. <clears throat> so let's get to it with Area 51. And as we all know, Area 51 produces all of your technology, including Savage Movement. So, let's get to it. And we are red. <clears throat> we are shooting bullets. We have a magic lance that comes out of our wrists. That's an amazing combo. Magic hammer, magic shield. <clears throat> I guess in modern times, knights in medieval times would be mistaken for robots. Flares! Glad I had that. And yes, he does have that. But the flare is no match for Gaiden Missile. I guess he missed me too. He missed me. Hit him again. And that's a move you really gotta watch out for. You'll never find out in easy. And uh, that concludes part two. Join me next time and we are going to be doing part three. In the meantime, subscribe, like, you know what to do. In the meantime, see ya.